morning god i want to invite you for this new day once again let's listen to a few words from our lord normally what do you see every day we see our world world of power world of wickedness the evil everywhere around us and we sell them say good on a personal level it is easy to see our failures it's easy to see our feeble attempts and it is easy to see our inabilities and we see sorrows we see sickness all around and much more but have you ever recognized that there is a divine principle in it let me say it the divine principle is what actually you see you become it and i tell you it's true in genesis chapter 3 verse 6 and 7 we read like this it says when the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good and pleasing to the eyes and also desirable for gaining wisdom she took some and ate it she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it then the eyes of both of them were open and they realized that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made covering for themselves let me summarize this two verses in this way when the women saw the forbidden fruit they ended up saying their nakedness when the women saw the forbidden fruit they ended up saying their nakedness it is a simple lesson but at very profound you become what you see they saw what was forbidden and received an apt result in relation to it so do you understand the things which god had clearly said no in your life he said fear not doubt not cry not sin not so in heaven's vocabulary these are forbidden are you still looking on such things that produce fears doubts sorrows then you have become it already they are dangerous in revelation lavadician church was projected as a blind church and jesus recommended ointment for their eyes to see now what is this ointment i will make an, an amazing connection in st john chapter 9 jesus meets a born blind man did you ever notice how jesus healed him he did not heal him by the word nor by the touch but by his spit in john 9:6 it says he spat on the ground and made clay of spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay so he was healed why did he heal him in such a way i believe that it was the ointment for the blind eyes to see jesus wanted to tell us today since that ointment is his saliva and it has come out from his deep inside it is that which is deep of god your eyes need the deep of god Amen. But why? Why do your eyes need the deep of God for your eyes to see? If you go in the middle of the ocean, you will just see water everywhere. Just water. So if you are connected with the deep of Jesus, you will just see his glory and his glory alone just like just water. just glory just his presence today my prayer is that you see his glory alone then you become what you see amen so by the end of this day you will become his glory arise and shine god bless you